right guys so here it is we got the dj osmo action mounted up on the helmet along with the drift 4k that i normally use so today we've got everything hooked up we've got everything mic'd up we're using the new let me get out of the shot news using the new dji osmo mic adapter as you can see it's right inside right there we've got a purple panda mic Hook to it, run into there, rudimentary style at the moment. Just just for a test. If I was to decide to run this on the helmet full time, and this mount's gonna have to change. I but I want to get something on there pretty quick so I could uh, test the two cameras out together. We're gonna be shooting both at 4K. Yeah, and today I feel like you've all seen that picture of the the motor vlog guy with uh, 20 cameras on his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. We are doing a dual test today, or comparison rather. Anyway, I've got the new Sonovo, well, it's not really new, it's been out for a minute, but the Sonovo microphone adapter for the DJI Osmo Action. And, you know, so far the adapter works great. It's really small and compact. Uh, I would say a tenth of the size of the GoPro brick. Uh, it works, functions well. I've got a purple panda mic hooked up to it right now. And what I'm finding is that, you know, it works great if you want to use, I would recommend this for use if you want to use it for a vlogging external microphone or a vlog style video. I do have it mounted here in the helmet and I wanted to show and share with you guys what I'm finding with it as far as this application. As I said, the, and you can tell now, it's, it works good. It picks up really well. I love that it's so compact. But I really feel like there needs to be a sensitivity setting on it. Because once we get up to speed here, I'm trying to do one thing. If I'm up to speed, I get to the pockets of the background. And it just doesn't have to fight the pockets. picks up really well. I love that it's so compact, but I really feel like there needs to be a sensitivity setting on it. Because once we get up to speed here, I'm finding that once I get you know, up to speed or get an abundance of background noise, that it just overwhelms the microphone and it's uh, God awful audio. But now at the slower speeds it works great. So right now I'm running 60. I've got the microphone tucked completely behind the cheek pad, so it's not protruding at all. Um, it's like I've got the drift cam here and everything's just working. I did have tried a couple times with this poking out the edge like I've got the drift camera here, and it was just too much for it. Now the Drift 4K has a microphone sensitivity setting. It goes from one to five. And out of the box, you know, of course it's set on five. I've got it dialed back to one right now. And I find that that works best for this. One, it doesn't overload itself with all the background noise and it's right here at your mouth. So, you know, it doesn't need to be that sensitive. But yeah, here we go. The footage looks great from the Osmo action. Uh, we're shooting in both cameras right now, 4K, 30 frames per second. In an ultra high definition. So we'll throw a comparison up. But I'm sure that, uh, well, I know that this camera is being picked up by this from the corner of it. So it's obstructing the view somewhat. But a good comparison between the video quality of the two cameras. I haven't been really, I haven't, I didn't buy the uh, Osmo Action with uh, replacing the drift that I use mainly for motor vlogging. Uh, you know, I wanted, a, I wanted another vlog camera. I wanted one that was waterproof. 
and I really like the dual screens on it, the stabilization. It's a, it's a really, really solid action camera. And you know, it gives me options. I can mount it here. I can mount it to the helmet if I choose to. Although until DJI gets a uh, firmware update to at least allow you to adjust the sensitivity on it, I don't think that uh, for this application anyway, that this setup is going to be viable. But like I said, off the bike when you know when the bike's not running, when we're not up to speed, it sounds great. You know, when I had it, before I ever put it in the helmet, I hooked it up and just uh, clipped it to my shirt and used it just like a vlog style just to test it out. It, it sounds really good. So, for that aspect, I, I will recommend it. But for this, you know, it's a great setup. I do love how they've got it. If they just get that sensi sensitivity down to where the background is not blowing it up. Just to give you a little something to check out if you're interested in it. In either the Osmo for the vlogging style. If you're interested in that, in my last two videos, both of those were shot off the Osmo action straight out of the box. I did not use the external mic adapter with those. That was just straight using the microphone on the camera that's built in there itself. But this adapter, was it was cheap. And, you know, that, that's another thing that attracted me to DJI over the GoPro. Accessories are, they don't beat you in the head for high dollar. I mean, the batteries, I got two extra batteries in a charger for, what, 40 bucks? And this microphone adapter here, I think, was 23 <laughs> Come on, man. Is it something that DJI will get worked out? I, I hope so. And, uh, I can see where it could be difficult for them where the, the microphone adapter is not a DJI product. So they would have to work, I guess, with the company that manufactures these to make sure that their firmware is going to work with that product, with this product. So I can see how that could be an issue, but no, it really shouldn't. If they would just put a sensitivity setting in a firmware update where you can adjust it in the camera or on the app, I think that would be perfect. That's what uh, that's what Drift has. I can do it right on the camera or through the app. And like I said, I had to dial that setting back. And what I'm seeing with the Osmo Action, especially like right now at this speed where it was just sounded really overwhelming and muffled at the same time. Um, the drift was like that when I first got it out of the box and plugged it up. Because the sensitivity was set to five. You know, it was, it was cranked all the way up. And as I said, I've got it dialed back to a one right now. But yeah, guys, check it out. See what you think. It's a pretty overcast day, as you can tell. Not a lot of sunshine. And it is the 3rd of February, so not too much green out either. We're just lucked out to have a heat wave here in the last two days. I'm taking advantage of not having nothing to do with work today. <laughs> What do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts. If you got any input or any advice for the DJI that I'm not aware of or have overlooked, because I am just an idiot with a motorcycle on a camera. You know, if there's any tips whatsoever, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the, the comparison footage, comparison audio. And yeah, if there's something else you'd like to got questions about with the Osmo action or the drift, let me know. I'm an open book. <laughs> I will share whatever useful or useless knowledge I have.